Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So I've been playing around with Laser Cutter and it's been really fun. So I've decided to do a video on how to engrave a poster into a piece of wood. So I've done a little bit of a practice and this is what I've done so far. Take a look at that, isn't that quite cool? So I feel like I've gained enough experience and I feel like I know what I'm doing to be able to do something a bit bigger and a bit better. Right, so let's go through all the steps. I feel like I should talk about this a little bit more in depth and that's because I'm not really experienced in laser engraving. So I'm not 100% sure on all the little tweaks and settings that you can use to make your uh, engravings better. But I'm open to, open to suggestions and I'm willing to try anything. So I'm going to go through what I think is correct and if it is incorrect, please tell me in the comments. Okay, so now it's time to jump on the computer so we can make our image laser engravable. And the program that I'm using right now is called GIMP and it's a good alternative to Photoshop if you don't have it. And it's also a free application that you can go download. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is hit file and open. Once I'm on this page, I'm just gonna open my image, which is right here. And now that's loaded, we just gotta do a few things to make sure that this is gonna be engravable. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is hit image, mode and then grayscale which takes away all the color and turns it into black and white and then what I'm going to do is hit filters distorts and then newsprint and what I'm going to do is on the pattern box I'm going to click dot and then this section right here called period I'm going to turn down so the dots are a little bit finer and I'm going to turn that down to about seven which means we get a bit more detail in our picture right so once we do that just hit OK file and then export as and once we've exported that what we can do is take this into LibreOffice Draw so I'll see you guys there so for the next part all I've done is I've opened a new LibreOffice Draw document and I'm not 100% sure if this step is necessary but I'm going to do it because this is the way that I know how to so I've got my image copied to my clipboard so I'm just going to paste it and as you can see it's actually a perfect size for my A4 so all I've got to do from here is just make sure that this is centered by clicking right click alignment and then hit centered make sure it's in the center then we just hit file and export and then all we got to do is export that as a JPEG file now once we've exported that I'm well now I've exported that I'm going to stick it on my USB and go over to the laser engraving setup Right, so I'll see you guys there. So I definitely thought this was worth an update because this is the result of my first try. And it does look really nice actually, but the laser decided to stop halfway through and I don't understand why, I just think the program crashed. Um, but there's also a couple things that I noted with this first attempt and that is my laser intensity was way too high. I had it set at 40%, so now I've turned it down to 20%, which seems to be doing the job really nicely over here. Uh, secondly is also I didn't focus the end of the uh, laser so there's a little twisty bit at the end of the laser head that you can use to focus onto the wood and I didn't realize that you could do that so I just made sure that it was nicely focused before I started my program so that I definitely thought that was worth mentioning and definitely worth an update so I'll show you guys the finished result of this when it's done Okay, so this is the finished result, and I really like the way that this has turned out, especially because it's going to be hung up on the wall and actually given to someone. So I am really glad that it has done a really nice job. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I don't really know what settings I should use, but after having this experience of using a laser engraver, there's a few things that I'll do differently. So I would turn that laser intensity down just a little bit more, and I think I had it set at about 20%. So I'd probably turn that down to about 15 to 20, uh, I meant 15 to 10 percent intensity. And I'd still keep the speed the same because it seemed to do a really nice job. Right, so let's take a closer look at this. Okay, so here's what it looks like close up. And as you can see, it looks really good. And you're probably wondering why it looks so dark. And that's because I stuck a, a coat of varnish over the top of this, which actually darkened the image quite a bit. But again, I really like that. Okay guys, so this brings me to the end of the video and I'm really happy with the result that this actually produced. And there's definitely a few more things that I want to do with this laser engraver slash uh, cutter. So if you guys have any suggestions or questions, don't hesitate to put them in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later.